I trolled. I trolled a little bit there, but uh, anyway. A little bit of trolling. Yeah, we Anywho, did. here they come up on the oh. pistol. Wasp Melon Whoa. picking up a quick two. No, actually, Zacher, the man who you highlighted coming into it, it's already on a pretty good 3K for himself, and a very, very hastily pistol <laughs> leaves into the favor of Lin Vision. Zacher, the high to four man A-stack. Starry gonna be the first to take contact as they all come sprinting up lane, a couple of whips, but he's got a team behind him to ensure that nothing bad happens. Only one man falls, and Lin Vision we again. Head, of quick. course, into our third round of CS, and it will be just as easy, if not easier, than the second, as just oh. the pistols that have done a fair chunk of damage. That's nice. Ran. Time winding down. Nice shot. Really nice shot, in fact. Smoke on the molly. Running, baby. Looking for more. Won't quite land. KST now to pick up an A1S. Wait, Banjo wait. Banjo through the smoke. Lim Vision, 2 on 3 but with the angles they're playing, that's not going to matter all that much. Flash to get up, and Rust Melon, man, you've got to explode. My friend picks up one. He knows there's a player in pit. And I think they have the expectation that Banjo's there as well. One HP being the difference, and the MP9 will thankfully clean it up before things get too far out of hand. M4 is retrieved. Time ticking. 30 seconds left on the clock. West Melon good for one. Can't quite find any more, though. Relying on x Pro to find the damage. He's good for one more. Running Baby in the meantime catches one of his own. Of course, that one for one on long. Regali just beamed through the smoke. Keve in a one on three. And the hyper aggression within the site. With the exception of that anti eco that Fnatic have gone for an A take. There have been four players stacked up here for Lin Vision. Oh, Banjo! Please, man, you've got to get out. They do burn. They are just there for aesthetics. Finds this kill and the plans of Fnatic oh, Rising oh, oh. tumble down the drain. Gonna go back in for the peak. Bomb drop, but he's not ready for to be this close. How does he get away? That's unacceptable. That needs to come in. Then in there, Jiggle comes out and he should be able to find the pick. Oh. Be slight wide open, but they still have to deal with X Pro. Man, that's close. In the meantime, in middle is Pepzor, and he's found two. All down to one. It's X Pro left remaining, and there you. Yeah, the biggest weapon of the buy is this AWP, and it's even going to go in for a swing and banana. Give it straight back over to the T side. Regali, beautiful opener. It is retrieved, though. Oh, he's got timing. Or has he? Or has he? They're out towards the A side. They haven't quite checked it. Starry, only good for a dink. That's not good. Ron and Baby and West Melon now from Pit and Mini Pit, respectively, have to go huge. He's been able to pick up one, but it looks like the luck is about to run out. With Kebe being in CT, the Ops falling, and there goes West Melon behind him. Fnatic rising after a very... We are into the future. It's now, and it's running, baby, to kick things off. Really nice opener. They go really aggressive towards middle here. This smoke, they have to go if they want to pressure. Need goes deep. So much damage. Dealt flash is good, but it's not good enough to mount them with the kill just yet. West Melon holding his own, picking up two. Good trade from Regali, but still a very big plot task. Clear out the uh, the coffin push, but it does catch the player on back sight. Regali, oh, he wasn't checked. Now it's a one on two for KST, and he's unable to kick down either. Kit picks up. Do they have he's to? Got that is. Banjo's like the auto thingy name. So when I saw him burning, I was like, wait, have I got like muted names or something? <laughs> I was so confused then. But no, it's fine. Banjo does go down. Keve another. Bracket. And Zekker with the AWP, he's not going to shy away. He sticks around. He makes you force him off the angle. And that's what's going to happen. One for one, but make that two for one. His KSD has been able to double up at the A site, not expecting of a third player to be here in Starry. Trigger discipline inbound. Pets are planning for pit, but they haven't gotten it down just yet. Still have to deal with Starry. And it's a, a starry night, so maybe don't count this one out just yet. We've seen Fnatic rising do pretty well on one of these ecos. Now Express, the Expro, I'm sorry, I was going to say Express, so completely blinded up, and they're actually only able to find one kill on the site defense. Bomb, it'll detonate. And Fnatic wow, rising. My face. That, well, not even a chuckle, more like a scoff. It's just like... Yeah. <laughs> so you get West Melon. He'll, uh, he'll be laughing and cacking ahead here, Ryan's round. This is the round to put themselves on the board and make their mark on the T side. Oh, it's starry, though, to line up to. Dips back in, and of course he finds more. Ronin Baby there for another. He's one of two players with an AK. And he's already lost three quarters of his health, but Keve out towards long has called the Orper off guard. Oh, no way is this going to happen. Starry on pit. He has to go huge. Spots out one. Tapping away. Does find one. Repositions for a second. Does he expect Regali up top? No. Throws the flash high. He is. He's going to go for the third. And yes, he is. West Melon against two. 50 seconds to go. And the rotation on long. I correct myself. A one-on-one. -on -one. West Melon. Right place, right time. Has he got the free fire? No, Regali's got him beat. I thought he was like lining up some sick banana flash. Oh my lord. I just saw like five smoke tracers come up at the A site and they are going to get caught by four star. He has a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it as he gets pushed down the flash. It's good, but he's only able to capitalize with one. 
Back in with three on four, and Lin Vision may just pack it in as, it, as is, call it a save. They need something to go back their way. They desperately need it if they want to have any glimmer of hope in convincing me in this round. But timing is the uh, almighty devil as X Pro falls Literally to it. the most balanced map in the pool. All right, let me check Fnatic Rising. No win percentage on the CT side competitive. Yeah, so so my, my point is, right, if you only get eight rounds on the T side, is that going to be enough on Ooh. your CT where it's weaker? But, well, clearly, they might not even be good for eight. It's a quick one Tested only up against two Desert Eagles. Fnatic Rising shouldn't have that tough of a time, but they're making it difficult on themselves. One kill only comes back from Starry, but it could have gotten out of hand real quick. However, it's only one man... Or, I'm sorry, I thought there was only one guy on the bomb site, but it's just... One person lingering around. Even in Mexi, the perfectly timed peak, man. X Pro had it on lock. It's got no problems for them. 8 7. Good stuff. All right. Well, is it going to be enough for them to find success? Zekker leading the charge with the Tech 9. He's actually got armor. So that was dropped over to him. The KST still takes his head off without a question behind it. Oh, man. It is dominant for the CT side. One kill comes back. And almost okay. vice versa. KST. Oh, I've got to be careful putting your knife out there, son. It is the mid push, but yeah, of course, I immediately relieve it of pressure. Done and dusted. Tapping away. Pandro trying to catch one on ramp. Even going for the jump shot at this point, Pepsa. He'll find one in Apps and Westmelon. One on five. Hey, Vanessa Frigali to gun him down. Fantastic rising. The bracket position, trying to sell the A play, but ending up on B. <gasps> Keve. That's a must hit shot. That is a must hit shot. He panicked. He definitely thought Starry was looking his direction, and it's really going to be the undoing of the Fnatic Rising defense. At least they have two players stacked up at B to try and hold this one off from being taken. This could still go their way, but oh, wait. No, it still can. A three man lineup almost four. But KST has turned this one into a reality. No. It's, do it's all about timing. Where do Lin Vision pounce? Where do they try to attack at CT? And they peek together to perfection. The they get them. That's why things get noisy. Oh, Pepsor. Good angle to find the first. I actually kind of really like that off angle. But it's still going to be a bit difficult with Keve tucked into the second oranges. They have to deal with Banjo first. Only getting one good trade. It still seems like they have the expectation of another man being on the site. But as I said, the bomb, it's all the way back in T-spawn. Starry Where is somebody's pr possible presence up banana. In comes KST, and in comes the timing. Again, just looks away from the angle. And now Starry has to find the kill back. Okay. They could have gotten scary. He'll find the tap. And is he just going to go up A at this point? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Bomb. Set down. Tap away. West Mellon, he'll find one. Gotta hurry. He's actually on the A site. Starry, he's got to do everything. He's got to do absolutely everything. He's giving it up. Oh, Regali moving away into the jaws of West Mellon. Yep, CZ sidearm all too easy. Not enough of them to find long-term success. They're all just going to go charging down middle. You can't expect much of this round. In fact, I don't think you're going to be able to expect anything. Good kill from Pepsor, but that's all she wrote for this ego. <laughs> And with Keve being the last domino to fall, Lin Vision has secured up set up. 4M4, stacks of utility. You can't go wrong with this investment, oh. but you can go wrong with aggression. <gasps> Seconds to open up, nearly the wall bangs through oh the wall. Oh my god! Connects. It's Keve to trade into double down, though. Oh, it's got all too intense towards Banana. Oh, for and a second, he was posted up under balcony, but now they're going to go in for the swing at lane. Nade goes deep, but they've got the shot. They know there's another player in pit, and this advantage is quickly going to get away from them. Still, a rotation has come in, but there's nothing to say about it. 7 HP, I'm sorry, 17. Is, are they going to stay alive? Entry. Oh, wow. Oh, close. Long angle. Has they got a smoke for it? No, they're going to just dry check this and Regali quick on the trigger. 15 seconds. No time, put a shot to open things up. KST on the back of the site, nine seconds to go. Are they gonna check him? Yes, they will now, no, he's blind. He's caught out. Get the bomb down. Blind. Four seconds to go, three seconds. They have is it? there enough time? Yes, there is. Oh, oh my God, man, why are you gonna do that to me? On him, caught out, Banjo got him covered. One on three, but it doesn't matter. So, not a bad investment, but Still, the case is the same. You don't convert here and the game may fall with it, but holy hell, that wasn't even the offer. That was West Mellon who shot him. Mm, indeed. Oh, it's getting dicey towards apartment, Starry. He's got many a man. Can he find anything more? No, it's towards Banana, though, that's done. Lin Vision. Not stacking for it, eh? And usually it works out for the CT side going over the smoke. Regali finally combines for a kill. And the low HP margins are going to start to collapse on Lin Vision unless they can find a kill back right here and now. They pick one up from the apartment, two spotted in, but another beautiful shot from Regali. 
keeps them in the driver's seat for this round. Three players on the newsflash. I'm telling you that right now with 10 seconds to go. Banjo, all he has to do is hide. This round's just done. Swings out even to compliment his teammates. Peek and CT spawn and Fnatic find almost 200 damage on the innades. I'd say it's worthwhile, though. Now they're going to go back in for some peace. Banjo's Molotov is all it takes to take care of Westbound, and there's still one player at a very Dumb fat, needle. though, historically, so a bit of a question mark will arise here shortly. X-Pro's brought one back by the banana flank, but regali has got his teammate traded out. X-Pro's still one of the low HP players, so very, very bad right now for Linvision going up to the A site. Take KST, has got another one, and it looks like Linvision are going to continue to be sent by the wayside. 12 on one step closer. Smoke. So as soon as like a flash is thrown over, Fnatic Rising are just gonna dump their smokes back to stop them. Oh my Jesus! Keve just gets eliminated, and now put your foot on the gas. Get up to the B site. They know Banjo lingers at the back of the bomb site. Molotov comes in, but are they ready for him to creep around the smoke? Not just yet. At least able to pick up one. They have to deal with him, and they have to deal with him soon. Kills come back and forth. The nade of the team. No way. Fnatic Rising. They deal with their own player at New Box. The bomb player. Oh, wait, they both tuck into emo. Bouncing a smoke off of the wall. I think it's missed its mark, though. Sacker, he definitely has, and his AWP has gone good. That's his first in the round. Needs the second. They both want to swing out. The upshot missed, and Fnatic rising. They screw themselves over. Nate, their teammate. Don't kill the bomb planner, because we're getting that, man. I know. I tell you what, it's a fairly fast play out towards long. Okay, West Melon. Gonna deliver headshots like that. I see you, Pepzor. Corner ready for this peak to come in, but he's gonna get ahead of himself. Go a little bit wider for the peak. And while he's good for one, zacker has got the tap to trade it right back. Three on four. Banana very, Rising. very quick flank at that, but it's compromised to middle. Doesn't matter because Zach has got a frag anyway. KST oh. shall trade back the bombs out oh. towards the site, but KST, a filthy shot with the USP. Even tucks in towards CT. They need this kill on the catwalk player, though, and KST just can't be taken down. Banjo combines for the last in Fnatic Rising. We're they always drawing on the. Over. Util is a bit more plentiful for that of, I'm sorry, of Fnatic Rising. Only one kill comes in via the scout. Trades go back and forth, though, and of course, it's KST. Doubling down, still one man at the B-site defense. Banjo with the MP9 cannot be tested. That is not a smoke you can go through, man. It is not optional. Zekker, he's upgraded to the Galil as the CT side looks to punch him down. Bomb dropped, and now it's unwinnable, it seems, as West Melon's no, He finds this kill. B-site's wide open. Potentially winnable situation, but what a beautiful off angle. Fanatic rising, catch themselves a second. The, through the center of the map, but I don't know, man. I'd like to see some passiveness. Give time for CT to go towards B without expending. Spots out. He doesn't commit to the fight. He's got teammates behind him to do that instead. Flash goes high, and well, it's not even going to be him striking first. It's Kebe to find it. KST's got the trade with him, so we're still in a two on four. X Pro hasn't been spotted on the mid cross just yet, but he also hasn't done anything on the mid cross. Trades coming back and forth, finally back into a two on two, but with no time left. I don't even know if the bomb's going to be allowed to be planted. As soon as he looks to punch in the numbers, sorry. Just finds the kill. And that was also beautifully played by Pepsor. He could have gone in for that Two kill. Two plays of half-armor. Utility is absolutely in the bin. Oof. But the AWP on point seems as well. Fnatic Rising going to be tested in this round. Two quick kills across the board. Good start for Linvision, but they still need to execute from here. It's a far shot from being the finale, but now it may be as KST's fallen. Arguably one of the best players for Fnatic Rising. Slows down. Nice kill from Ron and baby. Keve, last man standing, and I say standing, but on a glass floor as he's shot down from behind. X Pro will take him down. If you're if you're a gambling man and think you know Fnatic Rising has what it takes to come back in this series, Ooh. make sure to uh, to have a look. Ron and baby. In the meantime, has just found both kills out towards middle. Probably the worst possible start here for Fnatic. Rising. Again, Fnatic, they're just instantly shut down. This was a buy, remember? So to have it be going this way is a pretty bad situation. West Melon looks for the kill and underpass and. There goes KST once again. It's up to the two M4s and Banjo and Pepzor to bring this one back. Well, Envision, it almost seems like they're too comfortable at this point. This should be their second round on the board, but as I say that, Banjo's got another name up to his tally. That's his second kill of the round. And it single-handedly forced Linvision to go back in for an A-take. This is exactly what Pepzor wants, because he's going to peek in to find what? West Melon. Damn, I'm going to have to hold my tongue on that one. Nade. You are blind firing into the diffuser. <gasps> this shot, got to connect more. Nice no way! Frag! And Starry's found them both. Linvision. Yeah. Well, this round should be no oh. different to the success that, uh, uh, I take, uh, I take it back. Hello? Okay. Uh oh. Helen. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Running. Oh no. Okay. Well, at least the two on two. Zach has got everything to do. Tech9 running around. He's spotted out. He knows exactly. No, no but the jump spot will. 
and a one-on-one -on -one can be taken here. The Opera wants to isolate the kill. When Pepzor are peppering bullets in from CT spawn, it's only time before he's got the one-on-two. And you know, bringing back the buys. All these flashes, all the lovely stuff. What's Melon? Isolated, no one there to assist him. Fnatic Rising, that is probably the easiest 5-on-4 they're going to get, but it should be traded out. Starry stabs back, really nice spray transfer. Oh, oh. So what's Question mark? Uh-oh. Oh. I was going to say, that's not going to end up well. You've given him a perfect angle through the smoke, not even taking yeah, I it. see. Nice. Pepsor, he'll catch off one. Molly. Inbound. Keve. In the smoke, right past the rifler, onto the orb. Running baby tries to spam back. There's no chance here. He even jumps right back through. Fnatic Rising, take a six. The AK Not trying bad. to catch somebody on alert play. Almost actually spots out KST. He will, but won't be good enough to pick up the frag as they all come barreling up. Catwalk Regaly's got them dead to rice. They can't slow down for the exact smokes because they took too much time. And now they're just going to get shut down as they go up. Make their merry way into the AWP. 14 seconds to go, and even Pepsor's peppering them in from the flank. 1v4. Sorry, this is unwinnable, my friend. You're a legend, but not much you can do about it. 7 to 3 in the let it stick. Flash in. Nothing. Done. And KST, he'll pick up the 4 on 4. Smooth operations so far. Continuing to tap away Peps or his AK. Well, I'm going to be planted, so at least they have that to look forward to. Even adding a tag to the tally, but Starry not able to get away just yet. Got to find a killer too here. Westmelon locks in one and he knows that's not the tagged up player. So there's a real oh. chance here. And what the hell is that shot? Now coming in on the flank. It's X-Pro. One on two. KST. He's got one bullet from being dead. Oh. Four seconds to go. Just sticking the plant. X-Pro, you've got to jump up and make this one work. Pick it up the AK. He can't hit the shots. KST's what got chance. him. One eight. Looks like he's got some assistance in long though. So it's not done just yet. Head spot. Okay. Um, have sort. Don't know what you're looking at. But hey. Smellon's just it. tucked into the lower tunnels. KST could find him here. Looking the wrong way, gives him another free kill. And now the cat players have to be weary of his play in lower tunnels. Opportunity. As they make it's going to have to be the final dart on long. <gasps> oh, and he's spotted out by Ronin, baby. Really nice accuracy there as well. Pulls the trigger as he emerges from the smoke. Regali, good night, Banjo. Thought he crashed or something, but no, he's just waiting for the favor. Really well played, though. I'm super impressed. With uh, how they've been playing so far, the uh, the Linvision side here. X-Pro, freebie, five on four, B-side compromise, they now know at the masses. But this, I don't agree with. The overstay, at least running baby here to clean up for the lost soul. One, two, three, a full house between himself and his full. Seems to have a sneaking suspicion. And Keve, yeah, you won't be expecting that man. West Mellon played you like a book. And well, five on three, numbers game for Limvision, even though Zaka is low. The flash, the flash! No, he doesn't get away with it. I thought Pepzor had just pulled off a Houdini-esque play. Regali on the back of the side to hold them up, though, in a one on four. Been spotted, though. Shoulder's been given away, and now they can just try to play this one together. Don't need to give him these picks back, but that's the way to do it. <laughs> Oh, man, that could have gotten scary. Self. I do believe they only played the single setup last time, and well... It pays off this time, Mr. Anthran. They have found themselves the early advantage. Five on four. The orb goes back in, but X-Pro finds another out on towards long. Yes, the orb has pinned down and isolated. The A play still happens, wait, wait, wait. and by the looks of things, it's not really going to be too challenging. Or is it? Never mind. West Melon and Starry have it covered. Banjo, one on four. Crisis averted. Lend Vision get the round anyway. So now we don't have to worry about the hub, the hubba. Still eight seven. We'll That's what we that. see. Shots rattling on through. Quick Xbox smoke. One's already up short. Met with the sound of USPs. A one for one trade. Not necessarily the uh, best trade that the CTs will take, but that one's pretty decent. Spotting all of them in the B tunnels, keeping them pinned in there. Oh my God, Ronan, you are a ballsy man. And now the flank comes in all the way through CT, rather through middle, tapping away. It's Kave picking the both of them up and Fnatic rising. They're going to convert the pistol. Vision. All the same for them. Towards middle, West Mellon. Oh, don't agree with the flash, but oh, Ooh. it's nearly a lineup. I thought he was just going to hold down Mouse One and hope for the Lords above, but no. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I thought you could. I thought you could. Well, going up Catwalk is futile here because they're only running into death and destruction. This is going to be the 12th round on the board for Fanatic Rising. Nice pro, he'll bring one back, but I don't really know if there's going to be much more to it than that. Kevin on 9 HP, one bullet, one stray bullet, in fact, will take care of him, but too confident. Five round lead in Fanatic. Heat up towards the end here, though, as well. The mid pressure in. Keve, quick to find the first smoke towards the mid doors from Limvision, just to try and cover their tracks. 
No. Oh, it's from Starry. You even actually double dips, find some more, but it's Keve's Molly to finish the job. Four on three. Lin Vision tested completely, and while the buy in the next round shall depict everything. Well, they hear the footsteps going up catwalk, but Keve is just too powerful right now, man. He was on for the ace until Pepsor decided to steal the other one away. However, they're still. Con Round 21, oh, shot, doesn't connect, Oof. that one does. Fanatic rising, really nice opener, Starry, he shall trade, but the damage already being done, look at the HP Like bump. the stack that we got going on from Lin Vision, but he still have to find a kill, and there it is, Starry to deliver, good stuff from him, that's his second on the round, and Fanatic rising. Back up, Catwalk, we still have one player holding, that's for Gailey, not looking the right way though, sitting in the scope, and KST almost next up on the chopping block, but he only gets dinked, the A bomb site under siege, and X-Pro has to hold it. Against the aggressing players moving up catwalk by storm, a couple of flashes, Molotovs, anything they want to use right now. But one bullet to them between them and their first CT sided round, Lin Vision finally. You saw the other one? Yeah, of course. I saw them both that. Oh! Hold on. All right. Hold that thought for just a second. Zach is just. KST uh, ain't seeing anything. One of the CT sided and Lin Vision. Maybe a reason why they've had so much success at this part of the map. Holy hell, X Pro! That's a beautiful headshot. Can't add to it. Banjo trades him out, but still takes a little bit of damage for the troubles. And now it's up to uh, Mr. Mellon coming up through Catwalk. Flash doesn't fully blind him, and the opera misses a shot! That could have gotten very far out of hand, but he's going to bring Chaos, I'm sorry, Calm back to the Chaos. And the Maybe like charging, really trying to find the chance, amplify the chances of winning this one as he swoops down and takes down Rigol. What? Backer, catches the arm of Keve. Do they have time to defuse? Is that like advanced level, main level? Because I am. <laughs> uh oh! Oh! That's you know, level. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> NACS in a nutshell. Oh my god, what's happening to Limvision? They have just been wrecked towards the A side. side. Two from success on the second map, taking us to the other side. It would be quite nice. But uh, nothing too substantial going on. West Merlin, oh, he's going to have to go huge in on middle. He's found one damage onto a second, but it's not enough. Banjo and Keve, what a pop. Um, Ron and Baby and X-Pro now have to clutch up big time to keep Wait. Lim Vision in it. Or will they? Or will they? Ron and Baby lines up two. Bomb dropped as well. Yup, inter T spawn though it's got his name plastered all over it. One on two, and X Pro because the opera is all the way back in tunnels. Bomb tap spotted out in the tunnels. He knows the both of them are. Drops into the window, and there was a real glimmer of opportunity there if he musters up that kill. But sixteen to nine will be the finalized score. Smoke, very close. X Pro all the time, just couldn't quite find the mark. It's West Melon to find the opener though. Benjo in towards the jungle area, and he's good for another. Ron and Baby in the meantime holding strong. Gives it up to them. I think they know that there's somebody on catwalk, so they have that indication. Ladder popped open, but Extro takes a kill with him at the bare minimum. Looking for the second. Now he has to spin around. Regali running out of bullets, has to reload in. Star, he's got him dead to rice. One on three, the bomb being stuck, but it won't matter because Zachar's got his teammates back with the frag. And even though. Oh, if not more than a. That is the most failed hell strike going. Zaka, X Pro, oh. go three for two. That's two M4s given up to the mid window, though. Pepsi is good. Play the time, Pepsor, you can find another oh, kill, wow. and if he waited for one more second, he potentially could have had the player on catwalk, but getting connector, and the window player falls! Okay, Regali! It's time Give. for them to show their better, see what they're made of. And there it is, off brought out, Regali starting off strong with the EWP pick on the Zekker. Lin Vision, though, still aren't swayed away from taking control of ramp. Regali gonna try to walk this pick. M4 from Ma to defend, almost gets the collateral, but one and a half there is more than doable, or rather more than viable. To nothing short of uh, a pretty like a 20 bomb from him this game. But I don't think I'm uh, out of the realm of possibility by saying that. Gets one is the trade in. No, KST. Big multi kill leaves it all up to X Pro the Famas down there. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, okay. it may not be done just yet. X Pro has done some damage. I mean, that's what you get when you only have your gold cut of or your gold box cutter. <laughs> Okay, man, nicely done for Expo to kick off this round. He's okay. We get a bit more heated. Molly dropped in. I think it was meant to bounce off that wall. Keve caught in connect. So now it becomes a bit more of a problem. MP9 upgrades to an AK. Three on Watch five. Out. Fnatic rising. Oh, they've got to be careful. Expo, he will get taken down. But Pepsil won't know that there's a second man to boost in. Flash not thrown in. He actually spotted the head of Zekker above the smoke. Okay. Maybe he didn't, but he still had that thought in the back of his mind. Now making his way up catwalk to assist his team in the B-site take. 
Regali's here to join with them. The AWP is in his hands, but they have to deal with what's going on in Catwalk, and they just can't. In they come. Footsteps her, and Zekker falls. 1v2. Other player on Catwalk, and he heard the footsteps as well. He knows somebody's Ring playing. around the Rosie in full effect. Footstep heard. Regali, what are you doing? He gets, he gets the scope in, but somehow... Oh, sorry, finds the trade. All right. Well, this round, <laughs> I mean... Mm, okay. Gets a bit interesting. MP9 and the USP. Oh. It's a great quad from Ronin, baby. He's I, I don't want to say it. Right? But I think you know what I'm thinking. Mm, do we agree with the double push no, the that's not what rounds I back to back? Well, no, I'm, I'm... Haven't popped the window just yet, so even if they get in that avenue, they won't be able to make their way into CT. Beautiful shot from KST, though. And now it may have them enter up to the him in any regard, moving into stairs. You could tell he wanted to peek about that smoke, and he may just do that! Oh, he spotted! Watch Melon! Looks to sit in the corner, plays. He's down to 50 HP. Nade gonna get bounced in. Molly comes in too. No, no, he did it. Da, da. Kevin finds his first kill of the game. One on two. KST is not gonna be able to plant the bomb because there's an off in CT. But he taps it out and baits the peak. 14 seconds left on the clock. And in comes Story. That's a 1v2 clunch. The Fnatic are gonna round be cheering. Seven. None the wiser is who's gonna win this contest because Limvision one round off being reset and a great opener from Regali. That could be the reason, but I mean, I feel like a crucial part of CT success on this map is being able to control middle, and that's not what they've been doing so far. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. X Pro, he's found one. Three on two. Zaka, he's just got to catch off the bomb. The rotate. Regali, knife out. Nowhere to be spotted. It's into the abyss, of course. Zaka. He'll pick up one. Keve, one on three. The Galil in hand. 40 seconds to go. Ah, oh, there is absolutely no chance of winning this round unless oh. he's isolating the one on ones. One on short, one yeah, on. No problems at all. He's spamming the smoke. And well, gun down from behind. The MP9 shall finish the job. Lim Vision, they take a pick. Worried about too much. Should just be a couple of free kills and a quick stomp to a sixth round. But we have seen this go awry before, so I'd be lying to you if I said this was going to be the least of my worries. Oh, <laughs> Regali. Taking one with a Glock, three on four. Now ah, we've been in this position too many times before. The A1S of West Mellon to snipe down KS. Their opportunity to come in, West Mellon. He's able to find another. Two Deagles, Keve, go bang. bomb out towards B. Keve, he's going to do his best to clear the A site, but as soon as they know there's no trade, he has to be on B. And Starry, this is where he can strike. 13 seconds, your goal is to deny the bomb plant. They've done just that. Six to two, Fnatic rising. Are just being shut out. Seven and six. Saka in on middle with the AWP. It's a freebie. Ooh. It's a five on four, and it's an untradeable kill for Fnatic. Rising as Ronin, baby. He'll double down as well. Regali pinned in on middle. Knows if he gets over Well, with that shot coming in, he can't really afford to go back in for the peak. It's a window player going in for a peak, and this is what I'm saying. Like, this is the problem with not having mid control. You have being the difference. This could be a free kill onto this Fnatic player. Uh oh. Nope. Don't spam the wall. That's a problem. That's a big issue. Regali single-handedly picked up three and saved Fnatic's hopes and dreams in this round. Zekker coming up con. Bomb planted, and I don't think he's weary of Banjo spot in jungle. That's a free kill for him. And Lin Vision, you guys have to change up. Let's not excuse that. Wait a second. This all comes out of timing. Ooh. Maybe not even. With Zacker finding this kill, this honestly isn't even that much of an impossibility. He knows there's a player in Tetris, and Story's been able to bite another kill too. The Deagles are raining havoc right now. Fnatic rising, not a realm like this. One HP is the Tetris player, and it's not planted for the man on Catwalk. Or maybe it is. I'm sorry, I misspotted. But still, this could be so huge. Banjo, they know he's in middle. Flashbang goes high. Can they find the frag? The answer's no. And knowing that x Pro isn't on the bomb ends the round, but that could have gotten out of hand. Still does. Four kills is almost unacceptable to be given up. Maybe even the fifth if X-Pro can hit this shot. No dice. Four to six. Fnatic Rising stay in. I like this flash. I haven't seen that in a minute. Anywho, up catwalk they go. X-Pro first on the shopping block. Next up is Starry. And it's just a layout. It's, it's a sea of orange in the kill feed, man. There's really not much more to it than that. Quickly taking the fifth round by Storm. The lead's Fnatic decreased. Just uh, playing, I guess, the, the slow game. The, uh, the simple game. Well, there's the first kill coming through. Trade is in Lin Vision. Find themselves with palace control. Like, you still have to just kind of pray that your teammates hit shots. And there's been a couple of crucial whiffs in this. All right. Nicely done. Kevay. He'll find one to open things up. And Fnatic Rising three on three. I mean, 
you've got really minimal time if you're on the side of Limvision to make your save. emphasis known and you're dead right. I mean, you'd be looking to save, but the first kill here could sway some minds. Thinking about it, save. pressuring in, no kit, that's my worry. And well, now you're all trapped on the site. Star, he's gone. Two players left, and well, now you run for the hills towards CT. Banjo, the last man standing, yes, for Fnatic Rising. However, the bomb shall detonate, and that will be Endeavor into a tournament where, you know, they haven't really been playing, well, they've only been playing against Academy teams before then. So, this is the true test. Nicely done. Lin Vision are starting to dismantle this T side as bodies continue to drop to the floor. More picks, because two kills, somehow, let's say you find them, and it's really beneficial for you, but Stacker, nah, that's, you're not countering that. I'm so wrong. Flash forward, Keve, you got to be careful. Nicely done, Zaka. He's going to crack open that shell. Lim Vision, five on four. All right. Because how far up Papsor has been able to get without even getting spotted is utterly massive. Five on three. Pepsor's position. Oh. And the one tap merchant. Running baby gone. Four on three, and he even takes a fight towards jungle that he wins. Towards the ladder room lies X-Bro's body. West Melon is positioned. Oh, it's a great flash. It's what a wonderful flash from Pepzor. And Zaka and Starry now three on two. Lin Vision have got to make up numbers from a five on four at the start of the round. Zaka, okay. regardless has got him covered, though. Fnatic Rising 8-7. Very Every fast single. play from Fnatic Rising. Problem is... Starry his position, and there you go, opening kill. They don't exactly swing off of it, but now they want to apply the pressure, but the nade stack's <laughs> wonderful. And they're even able to find that trade pretty fast. Not enough just yet. KST has to peek out and get something, but looks like Lin Vision, even with the first kill coming back, is going to be able to wipe, wipe up the pistol. Pepsor left it a one on two, bomb tap. He's just going to peek back and forth. Know where both players are now, though, but of course the contact, the swing off one another, they're back and forth between the angles. No chance for Pepsor. Nothing just yet. Keve spots out one with the AWP. There you go. First kill converts. Five on four in favor, of course. Bomb decides to go up. If he waits for his team to take contacts in the apartments, well, they may very well distract him. But, nah. Posted on the line. There's nothing to find there. Banjo comes in for the swing. And it looks like it's going to be squeaky clean here for the Fnatic Rising CT side. Unless Starry can bring something back. Molotov gets dunked in. Flash is good. Banjo goes for the swing. And from the grave, he finds the kill. But still, the round could be disastrous. 45 seconds. The timer will continue to tick down. Flash to go into the A-ramp. Petsor could shut them down. Has to spin around to find both. But only gets the one. Zachar's picked up the bomb. So it's not even like that kill's all that significant. I don't think we're going to see uh, much of a problem here. Bomb burning away. Nice shot from Ron and Baby. Well, I think it's safe to say that this one is done and dusted. Two players left against two. Nicely done. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh my wait, god, is no there way time? they have the time here. Oh my good god, Fnatic Rising. Cranny. Molly drops forward. Smoke on it. West Melon comes up from connector and succeeds in eliminating his first opponent. <gasps> Looking for a second CT swing from Kerve. He stayed tucked. And it works out for them. Four on four, oh! but out towards B is the AWP of Zaka. And I think that might just spell the end of it as he finds Banjo as well. Wow. That's a fake and a half, man. I actually really like that play from Linby. Bomb ticking away. And it'll detonate. There you have it. They're coming in. Oh, Ooh. and the Deagle trumps the AK. Oh, Ooh. and a second shot from Regali. Fnatic rising four on three, the numbers do injustice, but can the Deagles and, well, the upgraded weapons do something about it? KST, his M4's gone. Banjo's Deagle on the back of the site eliminated. Now down to Pepzor and Kev 16. And of course, as the decider of this series, it is the first to 16. Yeah, it does map. so much, almost 100 HP, if not. Now Banjo has to find some kills at the back of the site, getting wrapped around from every which way, but West Melon continues his dominant streak, his 23rd kill of the game. And do Fnatic Rising, you just call it a save from there? I mean, the money shot, right? You go for this and don't get the retake off. You could be given a Lin Vision there, 14th, maybe even 15th, before you've got a rebuy on the cards. Right, and yeah, the they... financial situation of Fnatic Rising, it doesn't get any better. In fact, I think it deteriorates even more so. aware of the situation at hand, but Magali sticks around for too long and it could spell disaster. There goes one of the AWPs. A big weapon that needed to find success on this round. Kevin getting pushed down in connector. A missed off shot. Could be the end of him. And he'll get pushed down. West Mel on a big 2K. And Fnatic rising around the ropes. The A side under siege. You still have Pepsor tucked into ramp. So it's not...
the most unwinnable of situations. Gonna try to peek out though, and he does it too late. Bomb not denied, and they're ready for somebody to be in ramp. X Pro's got him. Two on five. Fnatic rising. This one's a save, no doubt about it. But I don't even, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Lin Vision hunt them down. Hell, I'd be more surprised if statistically, if they will need four out of the next six. Or rather, five out Not of necessarily rebound, but saved around it. It's going to be a quick B hit off of the offer missing. A leg shot comes in. He's down to 15 HP. Through the smoke they go. Tries to hit the no scope, but he's just not lucky enough. They all come flying out B. And the B site defense crumbles like it's nothing. It's done. They're hunting, though. They are hunting here. The Limvision side closing in. Will any kills be found? He was waiting for his chance to strike. Instead, it's the A play. Instead, it's the A play. Ronin Baby diving towards Ram for some reason. There's Pemtor and Keve to keep them alive. A site is closed for business. I did in the entire series how it's, it was the time management that was really just losing Lin Vision a lot of those rounds, but now it's quite the opposite. In fact, Your, just first, you know, finding a kill towards CT, even if he does go down, oh, was a lot more valuable. Saying. A lot more valuable. I guess. Glad for them that they don't get their hands on it. Their grubby mitts as Lin Vision looks to second. send this one to the finish. With the first pill being picked up, Keve falls, and Lin Vision want to push in the dagger. Oh, well, Oof. there you go. West Melon stabs another down. And well, in turn, I think it's safe to say this one is going to become quite over quite quickly. In towards CT, Pep's all good for one. That's promising. Oh, and another though from Starry. And it's all down to Banjo. One on three to keep Fnatic rising alive. They put up a valiant effort, but I just don't see it happening. Well, he's able to bring back one. Zacker maybe a little ambitious with the EWP. And remember, Starry's on low HP. He has a smoke and a flash, so... Could go for the Ninja Diffuse, and man, oh man, would this be a clutch of the ages running out of Palace. Oh no, that's the biggest kill that he needed to find. Ronin falls, flash goes high. Starry trying to play the time. 12 HP is the difference. Banjo taps it. Starry, is he going to peek? No, he bites his nerve. He holds his tongue. And now Banjo's got to smoke and go for the defuse. It all depends on if he lands the bullet. And through the smoke, Starry denies the clutch. The dreams crushed in Fnatic fall. 16